hello 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 everybody so welcome back so in this brand new tutorial i'm going to show you how to add my sql tutorial uh, my sql console to the command prompt so we want to be able to write my sql um language in the cmd console without using the zam server so before you get started make sure you have installed ZAMP on your laptop and then to install ZAMP it's very simple you just have to <coughs> go to google and then search ZAMP server download so you search ZAMP server download so if you search this is on the first page this is it so you come here then download ZAMP make sure you install ZAMP and then make sure all the services are run so I've already installed ZAMP server on my machine and then you can see from here all the services are running Apache is running on port 8433 and then my SK is also running on port 3306 so I've start all my services and then now so if you start the service make sure um my sql server is able to open so you open the browser and then test it by typing local slash php my admin so it should be able to open So if your ZAMP is working perfect, you should be able to see this and everything should, should work normal and very easy. And then this is what we want to do now. We want to be able to write SQL database, my SQL uh, in CMD instead of writing it here. Instead of writing it in the console here because you know writing the database here is very slow before you write and then you create it's, it's very slow but using the console is very very fast so what we're going to do now is we'll go to our drive drive c folder make sure you go to this this pc and then go to um local dc so if you go to local dc then go to zamp and then if you go to the ZAMP folder, now search for my SQL. So you search for my SQL. So you can see it here, my SQL. So open the my SQL folder and then now open the bin, bin folder. So this is it. So now in the bin folder, click on the URL and now copy this URL. So after copying this URL, we are going to add this URL to the environment variables so that we will be able to run MySQL globally on our system. If I say environment variables, it is where we add the path to any DS, uh, software on our computer. So we should, we should be able to run the console through the uh, environment variables. So now open to search bar in your toolbar and then now you search for uh, control panel so open control panel on your PC and now what we are look, going to look for is system so in your control panel you look, for, look out for system information so click on system info and then now you go to advanced system settings so if you come to advanced system settings there will be a pop-up window and in this pop-up window you scroll down and you see environment variables so click environment variables and then now these are the environment variables so you're going to look for parts scroll down and then here you look for part 
so this is the path so with this path we are going to click edit and then now we will add uh, the mysql con this mysql url we copied so if you, this is the path so now you click new and then now the parts you you copied here the parts the url we copied here copy the url and then now you come here so click new and then now you paste you paste it here this is how it is this is how it is you can see i've already added it here this is it so no need for me to reuse it again so this is how you will be able to add mysql console to the environment variables so when you are done just click ok and then click ok and then click ok then close That's it so now what we are going to do next is to test it if it is working perfect so click the windows button and then the r uh, windows plus control r so this will open the cmd so now we are going to test it we are going to test it by typing this uh, simple code so my sql loops ph 127.0.0.1 so this is how to run it the mysql in the cmd so after you are done with this click enter and then this will ask you for password so you skip it now you can see your your terminal has now changed to mysql terminal so let's write some simple sql uh, statements here so show databases so show databases will run will show all databases here so example this is what we have trump cc so we are going to use trump cc database so use trump cc and then now show tables so we're going to describe this table so describe table uses so this is how it works it's very very simple and it's very easy to use and running the SQL queries here you can see it's very very faster 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 than using the server the a PHP admin server so this is why this is important to you because when you are working with any big application using the console will make you work very faster than using the examples uh, the PHP admin server so I'm able to I'm, I'm happy I'm able to show you this and then Thank you for watching this tutorial. Expect more videos from me coming. And thank you. So if you like this video, subscribe and then like the share button.